Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bic Sport Paddle Surf, and this is also uh, a windsurfer as well. So um, I'm going to go through a couple things that it comes with. Um, does not come with a paddle. This is extra. It's about 100 bucks. The board itself is about 1100 bucks. And it comes with a sail. I'll show you that in another video. Today I'm going to be just showing the paddle board function of it and you can look at my other videos for the wind and surf portions of it. So um, it comes with this nice little handle portion. The weight of it itself is probably about 30 pounds. The bottom you have three fins. You can These are removable fins so you can take these in and out. Uh, the one thing that they do not show you, show you on the fins and this was missing from mine when they received it. There's a little screw here and then a nut in here that keeps this down. That was missing from mine. So I contacted Bic, they did send some new uh, screws and bolts right out. I also contacted Amazon, they gave me a discount. So all in all, ended up saving some money there. Um, it comes with a couple of little screws here and they give you a little uh, screwdriver to screw that in. These are pretty stable. Um, if you want one fin, it's great for paddle boarding. Three is gonna give you more control when surfing. So that's what that's all about. All in all, nice flat bottom, like a, an epoxy style board. Um, the top here has this kind of piece right here for the middle. And this is for your sail. So this screws on and off. I'm leaving this in right now, but you could unscrew that, pull that out. And there's also a nut in there. Um, and then there's a back thing here. This is for your surfboard leash also. And generally this could be for some uh, foot pads. And this is something I added on. This is just for my camera setup. But um, let's just go for a paddle here. So I'm about 165 pounds. So let's see how this floats. Pretty stable. It's got a good maneuverability here. Turns real nice. Um, it's floating pretty nice. I'm able to move on the board. I'm pretty well balanced, but all in all, this is really nice for about my weight size. Uh, this is 10 feet, six inches. Let's keep that in mind. Got some waves coming in here. Give you an idea how that is. Yep, not too bad, up and down. Again, I'm pretty well balanced, so if you're new to paddle boarding, it's gonna take some time to get used to waves. But as far as speed, let's give it a couple paddle, hard paddles. Let's see. Yeah, it seems pretty, it goes pretty straight. You notice them bear off. Again, I have the three fins in here, so that's keeping the board pretty straight. The more fins I take out, the more it's gonna lean to the left or right. And get some good speed. Uh, one thing is the front and the back look very similar, so it might be a little bit confusing for someone getting on, but all in all, really nice feel, nice floating ability. The one thing that after you stand up for maybe 20 minutes or so, this pad right here is gonna start hurting the bottom of your feet. So that's something to note if you buy this board. I would recommend getting some um, little, they call them booties, and they just kind of look like socks. You put them on, and although also um, water shoes you can also get. So that would help your feet feel a lot better. Um, and I really like the functionality of the paddle surf and windsurf. You're really going to get a three in one, um, and I like that portion of it. So all in all, I will give this a good review. I do like this board. Bic is a, a good name. They've been in business for many years. So they, they know what they're doing and with this board you can kind of get all three so you don't really get too bored with the board <laughs> um, and it's getting a nice nice slim profile so yep uh, if you like my review please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions please uh, write in the comments